up Bicycle Internet, Anthony here for another edition of Pure Cycles Gear Corner and on this episode we are going to be talking bar bags. But before we start, I do have to make an admission that when I was a younger man I thought bar bags were kind of dorky and wouldn't really be caught dead with one on my bike. But times have changed, I've gotten older and bar bags have gotten ratter. So let's get to it and check out the four bar bags that we think are worth checking out. The first bag that we're going to be talking about today is the Roadrunner Burrito Supreme. This is a little bit of a hometown favorite for us. These bags are designed and manufactured here in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, the bag overall has a sturdy, well thought out construction and is adjustable to fit just about any type of bike. Some of the key features that we really like on this bag are going to be the thousand denier uh, Cordura outer construction. Um, this really kind of beefs up the, the weatherproof uh, aspect of this bag. Um, one of the other things that we found really appealing is going to be the YKK zipper with the AquaGuard. This keeps all of the elements out and everything on the inside relatively dry. One of the other things is going to be the adjustable straps on the back. Um, you're going to have a nylon webbing here and then you can move these guys to either you know, fit as wide as you want or as kind of narrow as you want on the back of this bag. And then finally, we really dug these little uh, parachute cords here. It's perfect for a strap that Roadrunner uh, sells on their website. Um, and you can just throw it on there and use it as a shoulder bag after you're done. So after doing some testing, we gave this this particular bag to our camera guy and he went and shredded uh, JPL and the trails up around there and kind of put it through its paces. Um, we felt like it could pretty confidently stand up to the elements and with a 2.5 liter capacity um, you can definitely take a burrito out and probably also carry one for your friend as well. For the next bag we're going to take a little cruise up the California coast up to San Francisco. Or not has long been known for their minimally branded kits. However, in 2016, they jumped into the bag game. They teamed up with Rickshaw Bags to bring these little bad boys to life. And this bag has kind of been an everyday rider for myself. The heavy duty nylon construction has definitely stood up to the abuse that I've put it through. And the custom prints that or not comes out with definitely add a little flavor to the bag game. One of the features that really stood out to a number of us in the office here was the Gram holster. That's right, there's a Gram holster. Or not put two small pockets on the side of this bag, and these are perfect for carrying any mobile device and keeping it within reach so that you can grab that perfect shot. And with a four liter capacity, you can carry just about anything you need for your ride in this bag. Unlike the other bags, this one is not quite waterproof or weatherproof. So if you're carrying something, I definitely recommend putting it in the, inside a Ziploc bag just for that extra little bit of protection. For the next bag, we're going to stay in the city of San Francisco. The draw cord handlebar bag from Outer Shell is definitely a well thought out and unique take on the handlebar bag. The bag itself is a zipperless design which I guess could be implied by the name draw cord handlebar bag. The exterior storm flap can easily be opened and closed with one hand by way of a simple shock cord loop that, that hooks around your stem or your head tube. Beneath the flap is an expandable draw cord section, this stuff right here. And that helps keep the nasty weather out and the contents inside dry. I recently had a chance to put this bag to the test during the recent Pavlov Across America ride and on our fourth day we experienced some pretty, uh, a pretty gnarly storm, or at least for California standards. And at the end of the day when I checked the bag, the contents inside were still relatively dry. Some of the key features that stood out to us were the quality of the build, namely the use of a polyurethane coated Cordura main fabric and an X-Pack fabric inner lining. We also like the fact that you can use this bag in tandem with the outer shell 
stuff sack harness for your longer bike, bike packing adventures. And with an expandable draw cord section, you get about four and a half liters of capacity. Finally, our last bag hails from the Pacific Northwest and is made by the fine folks over at Swift Industries. The Bandito bag uses some of the know-how from some of their other touring style bags that Swift makes and marries it into this little baby right here. The Bandito has some sim similar characteristics as far as materials go to the Burrito Supreme shown earlier. They use a 1000D uh, Cordura outer and a pack cloth lining on the inside, as well as a plastic liner to give it strength and structure. However, some of the cool features that set this bag apart from the other alternatives that are out there can be found in the details. This bag uses two leather straps, these guys right here, that you can use to mount around your bars or using the mounting loops for specific saddles, you can mount it to your saddle as well. So you can have both the bar bag or the saddle bag. It also has another leather strap on the back that you can uh, attach to your head tube or to your seat post for stability. That way you prevent any further sway um, as you're riding along. The other thing that this bar has on the inside is a cool little dowel. If you can see that right there, that gives it plenty of structure and long term keeps the bag from looking sad and saggy as you use it and go along. Finally, one of the, one of the details that I found the most appealing on this bag is the two elastic loops up front. To me, this is both aesthetically appealing and highly functional. These loops can be used for uh, your small hand pump. So you can have that at your ready and you're able to you know, get out there and if you run into a flat, you're already ready to go. This bag will have a 3.2 capacity and will definitely be able to carry everything that you need. You're gonna need for your next hashtag coffee outside meetup. This little bag from Swift Industries, definitely one worth checking out. Finally, the one thing that we found that all of these bags have in common with each other is that passionate people with a love for exploring the world around them by two wheels make them. And that love for exploration is directly reflected in the products they make. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions about the products featured in today's episode, feel free to hit us up at Gear Corner at purecycles.com. So until next time, stay safe out there and keep a rubber side down. Thank you.